this is a great great uh, example that we have a uh, uh, yesterday uh, Gian have a generator is a uh, onan onan uh, 15 kilowatts 29 oh okay 9 kilowatts 9 kilowatts and uh, the engine is kubota oh uh, yeah the, the engine of the generator is a diesel kubota uh, four cylinders and uh, and uh, one of the one of the connecting rods one piston was locked and the connecting rod bended. All right, and of course the engine, because uh, salt water entered in cylinder number two and locked the piston. Okay, until today, we know that there are two possibilities for intrusion of salt water in the combustion chamber. You remember, guys? One of the possibilities is what? Can you refresh me? If during the cranking, if the exhaust valves are not calibrated and you crank, 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 the engine no start, it's possible that suction water through the exhaust valve in that cylinder. All right, that's number one. Number two, in the intercooler, if the intercooler internally is cracked, the, the air at high pressure coming from the turbo suction the, the salt water and enter with salt water in the combustion chamber. This is the possibility number two. And uh, in this engine, I discovered another possibility. It's, 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 it's incredible, but uh, it is. How was? So, um, I got this engine, they got a water pump. Raw water pump. It's raw water pump moving by the crankshaft. By the uh, by gear. The gear. The gear with the gear of the can and the gear of the crank. It's not external raw water pump driving by pulley and bell. If together, like the big diesel engine, gear with gear. And then uh, one of the seal break down and then I got some water coming through the oil. Uh, and then uh, the oil filled with water and then the water. Uh, the level of, uh, of milky oil increase, increase, increase. And then the, the valve cover. Valve cover. The, uh, intake or what the, breather. The, the breather the breather yeah. went to the intake of the air and then it goes to straight to the piston you, you understand guys no i'm kind of lost <laughs> yeah i gotta repeat that so when the water i got the water pump the water pump is coming from salt water to cool the engine down so the seal in the water pump break down and then i got water coming through the engine to the oil. This is the oil pump, raw water pump, raw water pump. And the chaff of the raw water pump, in one end have a gear, connected with the gear of the crown and the gear. Before of the gear, you have a seal that avoid that the oil, the lubrication of the chaff be mixed, no? Yeah. Okay, but the pump by itself, the mechanism was broken and this seal was broken. And the raw water passed and entered in the engine. And increase the level of oil, increase the level of oil. And you know that in the valve cover, the valve cover have one respirator, and that respirator is for gases, vapor of, a, of, of the oil. So from that valve, that valve is connecting to the air intake. So all that gas and everything is going back to the engine and then, you know, going back. But you got too much oil, so the oil went straight to the intake and then you got water and oil in the chamber and water and oil is not comp compressed and then it bends Especially up. salt water. Salt water expand and lock it. That was the problem. Can you imagine that, that, that situation? It's in my experience the first time. That's good for the new book. The first time. <laughs> Good for your book. But uh, yesterday we checked one valve, piston number two was complete, uh, excuse me, the connecting rod was bended. And there are other connecting rods, a little bended also. Uh, yeah. That's great. Was there supposed to be like a maintenance interval with that seal, with that raw water pump? Like, so it could be changed for a certain amount of hours? In or? my opinion, bad quality of the raw water pump. I checked the book because we tried to fight it by the warranty. And in the book, they don't say Not replace either. the water pump at center time. They say replace the impeller. And that's it. But no raw water pump, yeah. 
the majority of uh, the warranties, uh, they have the exception uh, related with salt water intrusion. And this particular case applied to that. But uh, for me, it's, a, it's, a, it's an special case. Uh, for that reason, I want to document here that, uh, that situation. Uh, because right now, the reparation is a, is a heavy reparation, you know? He's working in that specific cylinder. He wants to work the pistons, piston rings in all of them, uh, connecting rods, and bearings in the crankshaft, both bearings, main journals and uh, crampings. Why the main journal bearing, guys? You remember? If you see the bearings in the in the in the boat of him, the bearings lose in good condition. But uh, the recommendation is replace the bearings. Why? Number one, because uh, oil was mixed with salt water, and uh, and uh, was damaged. Uh, excuse me, the the salt water damaged the the baby on the, on those bearings. And uh, also because uh, in the moment of uh, uh, when the piston lock and uh, the moment when uh, the connecting rod was bended, uh, how much effort uh, support those connecting rods? A lot. And uh, the bearing should be replaced. Yeah. That's, that's the main reason. That's incredible, no? It's a, it's a nice, nice, nice uh, situation. And uh, <laughs> hard. And uh, uh, Gian is uh, doing the job by yourself, no? Yeah. Well, yeah, I pulled the head already. Uh, pulled like two pieces already. Um, I'm waiting for parts to put everything back. The, the next step is I'm going to do is a fill gauge. I don't know, guys, if you know the fill yeah. gauge. On the bottom. No, uh, in the in the crunch. Oh, yeah. In that case, uh, I forget yesterday explained. Uh, it's better idea use the plastic gauge. Plastic gauge, yeah. Also plastic, plastic gauge. Plastic, plastic gauge. gauge. Yeah. Uh, we did plastic gauge the, the laboratory here uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, uh, you need to check with the plastic gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ordered that already, so I'm going to do the plastic gauge in all the bearings to make sure I got that right. Mm -hmm. In order to order exactly the, the, the bearings recommended. You remember? In this particular case, because it's a practically new engine, the standard bearings, oversized if it's possible. No? Yep. That's, that's great. It's a, it's a, it's a great, great uh, uh, opportunity to learn uh, because uh, uh, th in this particular case is uh, milky oil, uh, milky oil, oil mixed with salt water. But uh, normally, where is coming the source of that salt water when you have milky oil, oil mixed with salt water? Where is coming that, that salt water? From the oil cooler, oil cooler. You remember? The pot of salt water, there are different yeah. oil coolers. It's in the oil cooler. All right. And uh, if, if it's uh, mixed with coolant, where is possible that situation? Yeah. On the head yeah. gasket, or uh, the head is cracked, or uh, the liner is cracked, no? But in this particular case, it's salt water mixed with, 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 with motor oil. And it's not coming from the oil cooler because that small engine doesn't have oil cooler. No? Well, they have an oil cooler, but... But they're with coolant. With coolant, yeah. Yeah, with coolant. In the bracket where uh, the oil filter is, uh, is uh, bolted, that bracket has circulation of coolant around the bracket uh, to reduce the temperature of the oil. Uh, in, this is a, 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 a difficult analysis. Uh, and you say that uh, some guys from uh, other company visit and they... Yeah, I have another guy, like he... He don't want, I think so, he don't want to do that job, but he recommended to buy a new engine and install a new oh, engine. Right. Yeah. yeah. This is the, the <laughs> this is the most simple recommendation, no, but uh, yeah. I, you are engineer, my friend. You need to solve it. Yeah, yeah. Buy an engine, it's okay. Yeah, you know. buy a new engine and put it. Yeah, no problem. We, nah, we that's, can do that. Yeah, that's that's a, <laughs> I'm gonna fix it, what, what do you got, like seven grand in Like parts? seven, uh, yeah, I got like eight grand in parts. Uh, new engine, I think so was like 20, 20 25. 22. Yeah. yeah, and they don't have it in the stock, so we have to wait. For a new engine, Kubota, exactly the same engine, no? Because uh, it's a generator, you need to replace it for, for the same engine. But I know that engine is an engine in great condition. It's 1,000 hours? Yeah, you have 1,000 hours. Uh, the boy 2019. And a grade from, and a scale from one to ten. Hope this was the owner. 
I mean, yeah. the owner, I mean, I talked to him. He's like, oh, but, you know, fight a little bit with the warranty. Uh, he was pissed more because the warranty don't pay for that. Uh, that, you know, it, it's happened. It's a, it, it's a boat and um, I was sleeping when that happened. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Are you here? No, no, like the people from the marina called me and said, hey, you're, you know, uh, like, it Why was like, like four in the morning. Hey, your boy's smoking. So I, when I wake up, I see all that. I got two generator in the boat. So I shut it off, turn on the other one and continue sleeping. And then the next day I start checking out what's going on. I remember some years ago, I have a similar problem in other uh, boat with a color generator. Uh, 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 25 kilowatts, 23 kilowatts, and uh, uh, in the moment that the piston uh, lock, uh, the connecting rod goes out through the through the block, yeah. and uh, uh, straight the block. Uh, it's in, in a similar pro problem. Uh, he did one important thing. You 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 take compression, no? Yeah. And, uh, and how was the compression? So I did the compression by the block plug, block plug. And so cylinder four, it was really bad. I supposed to, I think so. I supposed to have like 700 psi. I got like 300. Uh, cylinder one, two, and three, I got like around like 700 to 750. Yeah, the normal. The normal. But when I take out the piece on number three, it was bent too. But I got good compressor. You you know the compression is good, but. <laughs> the, the 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 connecting rod was bent, and, uh, and 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 you hear that the engine continued running, but uh, with white smoke. It's because it uh, don't lock completely. Well, when I don't hear when that happened, I hear when I try to turn it off, the engine was like shaking a lot, and you know, like a lot of smoke. And probably going out. knock knocking. Taka, 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 yeah. Taka, taka. yeah. And then in the water, I see too like a rainbow, like a lot of like oil. Oil. If you if you don't have water, they got water pressure sensor. Uh, if you got like low oil, they shut it off. But but uh, also so. they 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 shut down for uh, low oil pressure. And it's supposed that with the amount of water in the oil, the oil pressure should be going down. But in that case, no stop. No. It, it's incredible, no. It, you know. Uh, all the situations are not the same. Uh, yes, uh, each situation is different. And later, when when you assemble the engine, invite me. I, I yeah, record, yeah, for you. I record a video about that. It's a great experience. He had the boat in Palo del Del, in uh, in uh, close to Las Olas, and uh, the boat of uh, of Jose is in uh, in Miami, the Miami River, no? In Miami, in the Second Street. Uh, thank you, Jose. Thank you, Gian, for, for being here. Thank you. Uh, he will be the future student in this program. Uh, I hope you you be here. Uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, this class.